More local news now. After three Madison cab companies closed last month, hundreds of people were left without reliable transportation to critical doctor's appointments, such as dialysis or heart monitoring. Yeah, but as McKenna Alexander explains, some 2023 city initiatives aim to bring a solution for those nursing homes and hospitals now struggling to reach those patients. McKenna? Yeah, tonight Madison's Common Council introduced a few different resolutions that work to build on Dane County's already established transportation services for older adults and people with disabilities. During Tuesday night's Common Council meeting, several agenda items continued the expansion of transportation services for people with disabilities and people 65 and older in Madison. The first authorizes the mayor and city clerk to allocate additional funding, specifically $24,300, to go toward both Metro Transit operations, information and promotion, as well as the county's specialized transportation services for people with disabilities. The second continues the city's volunteer driver escort services that allow people to use their own vehicles to transport both elderly citizens and people with disabilities to critical services such as timely doctor appointments. The third confirms that in 2023, Metro Transit will again receive state funding to assist in operating the county's paratransit program. Three resolutions that, while annual initiatives, combine to reinforce the availability of resources for the hundreds of Madison residents now searching for transportation options. Now again, these resolutions for referral build on Dane County's transportation services for those in need. For more information on if you're eligible for rides, just visit DaneCountyHumanServices.org.